Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, it's going to be a quick one. I'm going to try one of Dan's things. Actually, I'm going to steal Victor. I'm going to steal your idea. Take a quick look. Today's been one of those kind of days. So, let's let see if I can get you I don't know if I can get you over there. Get you like this. Go get some black magic. How's that look? Oh, that's pretty good. I have never done that. So, let's see. Hopefully, that's going to fit in my head. Yes. Let's try it with this. We'll call it a magic miller. Yeah. Come down here with me. Is that going to be slow? There we go. Oh, this is going to be an epic fail, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Vic, if you're watching, you could probably uh, sell tinfoil and make a fortune off of it. Just give it instructions. I actually found the toothpicks though. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> it's got kind of weather. It's been crappy all day long today. Although, Groundhog didn't see a shadow. Early spring. Oh! It's going to be awesome. You guys to the south of us got pummeled. You got what we got last year. Although, it seemed like we got it every three days. Hopefully you guys, with the rain that came through, hopefully you guys got some of the snow off your roofs and everything else. Oh, check that out. Look at that. Try not to swing it too fast. That's pretty good. Oh, can I get more in there? I think I can get more in there. I'll get more in there. I don't know. It's sitting on the top. Let's see. Ah, that's good enough for my first one. <clears throat> so, Groundhog Day was my birthday. Check it out. Look what I got. But it's not too shaky. I got a vintage champagne of booze sign. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, like I said, this one's going to be quick. Let's try this. I already have a freaking four minutes. Cheers, everybody. Well, that's different. Wow. It's actually not bad. That'll go down quite well. So, <clears throat> the other thing that I got, uh, I'd like to take you with me, show you real quick. I'm thinking of incorporating into the brewery once I get everything kind of set up. Yes, it's all in disarray down here. Check this out. Check it out. 
I don't know. If, hopefully that comes out. Sixty-two dollars for that, and it was two hundred and forty-five dollars. Ah, uh, yeah, score. It'll heat four gallons. Keep uh, four gallons of hot water at all times. So I'm hoping maybe I'll set that up in front of the H and what the hell is this? Uh, in front of the HLT. Um, and probably get make an electric HLT because I might be able to do that out of a. I've seen a lot of people do it with plastic buckets, so I might be able to get away with that and just use 110. Um, and just go old school with control it. You know, just plug it in and unplug it. I use a thermometer on the side or something. But anyway, that'll be the the next thing I think that I'm going to be working on. Besides uh, getting all this cleaned up. Excuse me, but I wanted to give a quick shout out to all the new subscribers that I got. Um, it's awesome. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Uh, that's about all I have because the um, Mac Knight is still in the fermentation chamber. Um, cold crashing. Hopefully that, and that's going to come out good. I'm not, I'm not going to do the Jack Daniels chips on it yet. Um, I I got some comments still on how to do, a, I'm going to say this wrong, tenaxure, tincture, tincture, tenaxure, what the fuck. Um, and I think I'm going to do that with the next one, although I am, I really want to try it, so I'm thinking if I bottle like a six pack or a 12 pack, I might do the, the tincture with the JD, um, with the vodka and the um, JD chips, uh, oak chips, and then add that into uh, what I bottle. Just put a little bit in each bottle and let that sit, set it aside for a while. But um, anyway, thanks. Hope everyone's having a great week. Cheers, everybody.